So uh, the next gen rumors are in full swing now. There seems to be new PS4 and Xbox 720 rumors every other day. But what's really funny is these last couple of days, between yesterday and today, I've seen three sets. Three sets of PlayStation 4 and 720 rumors. And they're all different, which is funny. Um, our favorite neighborhood predator, Zaire, a.k.a. Clubberling, a.k.a. Mr. T Goes to Jamaica, did a video about one of these sets of rumors. Now, I don't see how, while he's reading these rumors, that he doesn't see that it's blatant, blatant BS. It says that both the 720 and PS4 will be capable of over four teraflops. Four teraflops? Four teraflops. Have that seat. Have that seat. And on this particular set of specs, it says that the, um, the Xbox is significantly more powerful than the PlayStation 4. And this should have thrown up a big red flag. It says that it uses a 384-bit CPU. 384-bit? Really? Really? Anyway, then the next set of rumors says that the PlayStation 4 is significantly more powerful than the 720. And it's funny because these sites don't seem to know how to add. Some are saying it's 50% more powerful. Some are saying it's 33% more powerful. Yet grabbing those percentages from the same numbers. Fail. And then thirdly, we have yet another set of specs. But these specs are the legit ones. These are the legit specs. You guys remember uh, sometime last year when I made a video about the Wii specs and I said, you know what, these are legit. These are the ones and those were the ones. Well, I'm saying the same thing here. These specs that were leaked to Eurogamer are legit. Now, the first thing that they say in this article is that both, not just one, not just the Xbox 720, but according to their sources, which Eurogamer has been pretty reliable, their sources have been pretty reliable thus far, states that both the 720 and PlayStation 4 are eight, have 8-core eight CPUs, both of them. Second, they are both, both, clocked at 1.6 gigahertz which is a lot slower slower than the 360 and ps3 remember when we found out what the wii u was clocked at and you guys were like oh this is a cell phone processor <laughs> have a seat second according to their sources the playstation 4 uses a mobile gpu which is what I was trying to tell you guys earlier when you guys get on saying, Oh, I use the 7,000 series, 8,000 series. It's a little bit different when it has that big M on the back. That means that it's not as powerful as you think it is because it's designed for a laptop. So according to these rumors, the 720's GPU is going to do around, I think it was one... 1.13 teraflops and then the PlayStation 4 is supposed to do I don't know I think it was 1.84 or something like that now by comparison uh, the Wii U's GPU is believed to do around 600 gigaflops which is a little bit more than uh, half a teraflop now if you're listening to those numbers you would see that that's a difference a difference but not quite the huge leap that everybody was hoping and saying that there was gonna be which means you had a seat 
Again, now if you look at this article, it says that both systems, the meaning the 720 and the PS4, are supposed to use a low-powered AMD CPUs would focus on uh, power consumption. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? That sounds a lot like the Wii U, doesn't it? One thing where these systems do kind of dwarf the Wii U is in memory, RAM. Now the 720, uh, according to this article, is confirmed to use uh, 8 gigs of RAM. But it's the same kind of slow RAM that the Wii U uses. Now the PlayStation 4 is supposed to use uh, anywhere from 2 gigs to 4 gigs of RAM, but it uses much faster RAM. It uses, uh, G it uses DDR5, while the Wii U and the 720 presumably use uh, DDR3. Um, now the 720 is going to supposed to be able to combat that slowness with by using um, a good helping of eDRAM, which is just like the Wii U has for that same purpose. Another thing that's funny about this article, I remember a bunch of people when the Wii U specs came out, or what we know about the Wii U specs so far, came out and they were like, oh my gosh, it uses a whole gig for the operating system? How wasteful is that? Why would they need a whole gig for the operating system? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's pretty funny because according to this article, the PlayStation 4 uses half a gig for its operating system. But the 720 uses three gigs for the operating system. Three gigs for the operating system and supposedly two of its eight cores for the operating system. Yeah, have a seat. But looking at this article and looking at these specs, it doesn't look like there's going to be that huge. There's going to be a difference, but it doesn't look like there's going to be that huge of a difference, like I told you guys before. Uh, the only thing that I see that could potentially be a, a huge factor is the graphic core next uh, technology that's supposed to be in um, both of these units. Now, what we don't know is if the Wii U's graphics chip uses that. Now, if you look at the leaked specs for the, for the system, it says that it does compute shaders. So that technology could be in there. But that part is actually one of the reasons why I believe that these are indeed the, the legit specs. Because the guy, you guys remember the story about the guy that um, left AMD and he's for NVIDIA and he's getting sued right now? Well, that guy is the main architect behind Graphics Core Next. So I think these specs are completely legit. It's pretty funny that all of the bashing that I got on that video when I said that CPU clock speed was pretty much irrelevant. And it turns out that I was right again. But you know, we can't all be the doctor, now can we? Have that seat.